Good morning, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, and welcome to our YouTube channel, where every Saturday morning we cover a topic of our choice. Um, I usually get them from below in the comment section, so if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe, put on the notification button, and comment uh, with what you want to see or learn about next. Hopefully you've landed in the place of the internet spheres, the YouTube spheres, where your questions will be answered because there is so much misinformation and bullshit out there when it comes to the skincare industry that hopefully I can help clarify some of those points, give you a better understanding of what to look for and what to do to help yourself. Hi, if you have no idea who I am, I, like I said, I'm a board certified dermatologist. I live, breathe, eat, shit, fart, and everything in between skincare. So welcome, and I hope you do too. So nerdlings, let's jump in, because today I thought, let's take a little step back and focus on how to wash your face, because this is a topic which surprisingly has a lot of confusion around it. And with that, I just wanna talk about some of my few favorite cleansers and why, based on skin type. If you're very oily, this is where knock yourself out with a foaming wash. Not all foaming washes are created equal. I love this guy by La Roche Posay. It is their purifying foaming cleanser, has a beautiful texture as you guys can see right here. Let me grab a Kleenex. I might actually use that one today because as you can see, I am breaking out slightly. It is very hot in New York City and I am wearing a mask all day, so I was on the oilier side today. If you have normal to sensitive skin, meaning your skin is just a little sensitive soul, then I actually love this guy, Vanacream. Vanacream has been a staple in my skincare routine for years. I will say it has a very nice lightweight texture. It is glycerin based. Ding, 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 ding. The biggest issue I think I have with it is that does it really help wash off all the makeup? Probably not the best, but it's good enough because it's also cheap. And if you are dry and just the Sahara Desert and looking for that extra oiliness um, that your skin is so craving, then I'm gonna give you guys one that I actually love to use on my body as well and it's a massive one. <laughs> Bioderma, their Aloderma Huile de Douche. Uh, douche, not that kind of douche, get your mind out of the gutter. Shower oil, okay? This guy is literally, look how big this is, but I, I have a big head. But if you come over here, it looks really big. This guy will last you a few years. Um, I'm kidding, probably a few months. I will show you what it looks like. It is just, yeah heavenly. Um, and it's not very oily because one of my biggest pet peeves with oil-based cleansers is most often than not, they leave this oily residue that I just can't seem to get rid of. So love this guy. It's a very lightweight oil cleanser. So with that being said, we also have cleansers with actives. So if you are somebody who has acne prone skin, then you want to look for certain active ingredients in your cleansers, whether it's salicylic acid, like this guy, Neutrogena, classic, the orange one. Everyone seems to know what the orange face wash is, or even Panoxyl, which has benzoyl peroxide. What I personally hate, my biggest pet peeve is, and I'm so sorry, Professor Botter, but why would you spend so much money on a cleanser? Why? You're literally washing your dinero down the drain, so do not do it. I mean, the packaging is chic and very heavy and probably very expensive, but that's really what you're paying for. And I mean, it is nice. Listen, if you got the dinero and you want to just knock yourself out, go ahead, knock yourself out. But do you really need to? No. Are you going to have like the best, glowiest, most dewiest skin because of this? Most likely not. But if it floats your boat and it makes you happy, then sure. Who am I to tell you not to spend your money on that? But for the most lay people out there, I would say you really don't need to spend your money on that. Let us talk about how to wash your face. And there are a couple of hard rules that I wanna just first lay the groundwork on before we talk about technique, <laughs> because it's all about the technique. But number one, skip your morning cleanse. And when I say skip your morning cleanse, I'm not saying skip your morning face wash. Wash your face with water, not a cleanser. Save the cleanser for the nighttime because a lot of people are way over stripping their skin by way over cleansing their skin and over using cleansers. And in the process, they are drying their skin and wreaking havoc on their skin barrier and causing their skin to produce more oil. So that is what I mean when I say skip the morning cleanse, but you can still and absolutely do I recommend that you wash your face with agua. My de water. 
okay? Um, because you still need to get some of that grime and that oil that has accumulated off your face in the morning. But just don't overstrip your skin's barrier and overstrip your skin of its natural oils. And that leads me to number two, at night is when you wanna really wash your face with a cleanser because you wanna get all the crap and the shit that has laid on your skin, you wanna lift it off, okay? You wanna get that off your face. Now, if it's not for the sake of being clean, then let it be for vanity's sake. And what do I mean by this? The toxicity of life, and I'm not talking about toxins in your skincare, because do not get me started on that, but the toxicities of life, pollution, crap, stress, city life, global warming, the earth is basically sitting on our face, causing reactive oxygen species to form free radical damage to form, those nasty little scavengers are going to go and cause premature breakdown of your collagen. And that is why you should also wash your face at night because it's probably the most important anti-aging step in your skincare routine if you are gonna start investing in a quote-unquote anti-aging skincare routine, which honestly should just be called a pro-aging or a well-aging skincare routine because who does not wanna age? If you don't wanna age, you're just basically six feet under. So that being said, um, that is why we wash our face at night, which leads me to number three. How then do you wash your face at night? Well, first of all, a few little things. If I see anybody doing this on the sink, trying to wash their face while sticking their butt out, I'm going to lose my mind. It's called an elastic or a headband. Your hair can go up. So ladies and gents and anything in between, take your hair up. Put it in a ponytail, put it in a bun. You don't need to look cute, nobody cares what you look like. Free your neck and start washing because the hair should be off your face. And with that being said, then you can start. So how do we start? I really love double cleansing. I unfortunately have yet to find a cleanser on the market that is gentle enough pH wise without being overstripping of your skin that claims to do both. I haven't found it. So how do I double cleanse? I use a micellar water first, followed by the cleanser second. Now you're gonna say, ding, 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 ding. Isn't double cleansing using an oil-based cleanser first, followed by the gel-based cleanser or a cream-based cleanser? Classically, technically, yes. But I don't love oil-based cleansers. I actually think the residual oil left on my face from an oil-based cleanser is overwhelming and kind of overbearing for the cleanser to follow that the cleanser to follow doesn't really get rid of the actual grime off your face because it's so busy picking up the residue of the oil cleanser and so that is why i don't like an oil-based cleanser first i understand for the heavy makeup wearers out there that they probably love the oil-based cleansers first because it kind of gives that melting motion of that cleanser of the makeup on their face but I don't wear that much makeup. So if you're somebody who's kind of like a medium, light wearing makeup person, but you still apply sunscreen several times a day, then do as I do and do as I say. So here goes. So I'm gonna do a demo for you. Starting with Le Micellaire, the micellar water. Bioderma is amazing. So that being said, we get Bioderma. We get a cotton round. If you have a reusable one, you're a better human than I am. So get a cotton round, okay? Soak the cotton round. Take that and start cleaning the makeup off your face. And this is the first step of your routine. Really nice, really nice. Take a second cotton round. Soak it and go to town. All right, I really focus mostly most of my makeup on my eyes, meaning I put mascara, a little bit of eyeliner. Usually I have my eyebrows drawn in. I think I forgot to draw them in today, maybe not. Um, but that actually kind of gets all of that crap off. I had hardly any makeup on my face today. It was mostly just my eyes. Third cotton round. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's not much literally just okay so any excess sunscreen sure Pourquoi pas? we have taken off the first step of our skincare routine um, followed by the cleanser so given that I have these cleansers in front of me I'm going to show you guys the foaming one because I have been breaking out a tiny bit given how hot it is in New York City 
and all of the excess oily production that I have been making. So this is one by La Roche Posay. How exactly do you wash your face? A lot of people can actually use cleanser straight onto dry skin. I like to prep the cleanser a little bit, so I will show you guys what I do. Now do not judge the mess on my sink. Okay, but I like to get some water and prep it. You can turn off the water to be better. Now my hands are all... Okay, <laughs> we then go to town and get it in there. Get it in there. Okay, this one is not the best one when it comes around the eyes. It's a little bit irritating, but I go like this and I probably wash my face for like 30 seconds and I do go down my neck. I clean my hands. I go around and then I let it sit if it has an active meaning anything like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Because this one doesn't have an active and I use the micellar water, we can then wash it off. Let me try to lift you guys up. Oh, okay. This is getting messy. Okay. Voila, then we get our fresh towel, hold. And then we go like this. This is the most satisfying part because we can see if anything was left behind. And it's perfect. So that is how you wash your face. Do you slap your face with a cleanser? No. Do you go like this with a cleanser? No. You just put it on gently massaging your face. And that is how, my friends, you wash your face with a cleanser. And the last thing is, the temperature of the water. So don't use overly hot water because hot water can also overstrip your skin of its natural oils, further ruining your skin barrier. Especially bad if you have eczema or psoriasis or any sort of sensitive skin. So I would prefer that you stick to lukewarm water. You can even use a little bit cold water every now and again because that is kind of a nice contractual feeling on your skin. Um, I don't mind it actually, especially if you have wake up with puffy eyes, it can work wonders for your skin. But my personal water temperature of choice is lukewarm water. And the last tidbit is the towels. Don't use the same towel for seven days straight. Make sure you switch your towels every two days. And finally, last thing, the myth around sodium lauryl sulfate. A lot of people are so scared of SLS. Um, at the end of the day, it's the dose that makes the poison. Sodium laureth sulfate is its gentler counterpart. Um, but if you see sodium laurel sulfate in your cleanser, don't freak out, okay? Do not freak out if your skin looks healthy, balanced, and happy. Now, if your skin is inflamed and seems irritated, then sure, try switching it out because it can cause some irritations in sensitive skin. But are you going to melt like an ice cream on a hot summer day if you use sodium lauryl sulfate in your cleanser? Most probably not. Um, but again, just a little word to the wise, be mindful of where you're getting your information from. With that being said, I am Dr. Shreen Idris. I hope you enjoy this very much back to basics skincare video about how to wash your face with a cleanser or a face wash. I will catch you guys next week. Have a good day.